Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got this uh, blue circle and red rectangle inscribed in the square as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this A is the point of contact between uh, this uh, rectangle and the circle and moreover the dimensions for this uh, red rectangle are 3 and 6 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we can see. C is the center of uh, this uh, circle and these points are the points of uh, tangency. Let me call this point P and this point Q. Now let's go ahead and connect uh, these uh, points. This one, likewise, I'm going to connect this point as well. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. Then these are going to be our radii of this uh, blue circle. Let me go ahead and call this uh, radius lowercase r and this uh, radius r as well. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent will always be exactly 90 degrees, as you can see in this diagram. So no wonder our this angle and this angle are going to be 90 degrees as well. Now our task is to find the value of radius r in order to find the area of this blue circle. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, these points A and this center C. Let me go ahead and connect uh, these two points. And now let me go ahead and drop uh, the perpendicular from point A onto this uh, radius. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, A, B, C as you can see. Now we can see both of these angles are uh, 90 degrees so therefore this is going to be our rectangle that means this side length is going to be equal to this side length pb if this side length is six units this side length is going to be six units as well we know that this whole length is radius r so therefore this length has got to be r minus 6 and now let's focus on this uh, radius r then uh, this uh, length is going to be radius r as well now we know that this uh, length is uh, 3 units so therefore this uh, length is going to be r minus 3 and finally we know that this uh, AC is our radius R as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle ABC whose uh, side lengths are uh, R minus 3, R minus 6 and uh, R. We know that this is a right triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg AC as our side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side our lowercase b. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is r minus 3. So I'm going to write down r minus 3 whole square. B in our case is R minus 6 whole square equal to C is R. So this is going to become R square. And now let's recall this famous identity A minus B whole square. We are going to apply on these on the left hand side. So therefore left hand side is going to become R square minus 6R plus 9 plus likewise r square minus 12r plus 36 equal to r square and now we can see one of these r square cancels out with this r square on the right hand side 
So let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. So we are going to get uh, r square minus uh, 18 r plus uh, 45 equals to 0. Now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring. So therefore I am going to tweak this part as negative 3r and minus 15r. So therefore this could be written as r square minus 3r minus 15r plus 45 equal to 0. And here we can see between first two terms r is in common and last two terms negative 15 is in common. So let's go ahead and factor out r outside. So this is going to give us r minus 3 and then minus 15 I'm going to factor it out. So we got simply r minus 3 equal to 0. Now we can see r minus 3 and r minus 3 is in common. So therefore we ended up with r minus 3 times r minus 15 equal to 0. And now we got these two factor equal to 0. I can separate them. I can write r minus 3 equal to 0 and the second one r minus 15 equal to 0 as well. And for this first equation r minus 3 equal to 0 means our radius r is going to be 3. And for this uh, next equation r minus 15 equal to 0 means our radius r equals to 15 units. Now we ended up with two values of r. First one is 3 units, the other one is 15 units. Now we can see that r equals to 3 is unrealistic. This is not possible since uh, this uh, side length of this tiny rectangle is 3. So therefore we are going to reject this r equal to 3 scenario and we are going to accept r equals to 15. Thus the radius for this uh, blue circle turns out to be 15 units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue circle. Now let's recall the area of a circle formula pi r square where our radius r is 15. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So area of this blue circle is going to be pi times 15 square. So let's calculate. So area turns out to be simply 225 pi square units. And thus here is the area of this uh, blue circle. And we know that the pi value is approximately equal to 3.14. So therefore the area of this blue shaded circle is going to be approximately equal to 706.9 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.